Hey everyone, my name is Shai. I'm the CEO of Roam Around. Roam Around is an AI concierge in your pocket. So you ever feel like you need a vacation from planning a vacation? Introducing Roam Around. Rather than spending days planning a trip, enter two days in Barcelona, we'll create a complete and actionable itinerary for you. If it's not perfect, you can say something along the lines of, it's our anniversary. And we'll iterate the, uh, the itinerary to recommend romantic restaurants, beach walks, hot air balloons, etc. With all that time saved, you can say add a beach day. You can see day three in Costa Brava has been added. Now that it's perfect, you can request it to be translated to Spanish. And then once it's done, you can share via SMS, WhatsApp, email. So you're probably asking yourself, aren't you just a ChatGPT wrapper? Well, leveraging our first movers advantage, we've accumulated millions of um, interactions and we've used that to fine tune our models Plus we have a high quality embeddings library. Again, using our, our first movers advantage, we've secured partnerships with companies we would have otherwise not been able to secure. We have affiliate partnerships with TripAdvisor, Kayak, Kluke, Get Your Guide, Open Table, and more. And we earn an eight to 10% commission on each experience booked. We launched in March 1st, and we've generated over 8 million itineraries, over 500K in gross bookings, and that's over 2000 experiences. So this is just over ex uh, experiences, not including flights and hotels. You don't have to sign up, and yet 149,000 people have gone out of their way to register for Roam Around. 76,000 have subscribed to our newsletter, and we get an organic 335K MAUs. We were minding our own business on the consumer side, and hotels, airlines, travel agencies reached out to us to incorporate our technology into their sites. So introducing our white label the same product enjoyed by millions of consumers available for enterprise. It's available 24 seven with your fonts, your logos, your brand voice, and it's implemented with no code in seconds. It's available at enterprise.roamaround.io. As you can see, our investment in organic growth has really paid off. One company stands alone on that competitive um, landscape. On the B2B side, We've been invested in and partnered with Flyer Labs um, to bring our technology to airlines. We estimate that each airline on the low end will bring in over 500K in revenue. Flyer Labs has a book of business of over 50 plus airlines. On the hotel side, we have our enterprise with the self-service option, and we already have a pipeline of plenty of hotels reaching out to us. And we're working with two DMOs at the moment to integrate our, our tech into their sites. So before Roam Around, I was leading a hyper growth team at Strike, the Bitcoin payments company. And before that, I was at Google for six plus years. This is Chavi and Gerard's second startup together. They ran a social planning site for loan travelers to meet uh, locals. We've already been mentioned in the press plenty of times and we're just getting started. Excited to answer any questions you might have. All right, nicely done, Shai, thank you. All right, judges, we'll start with you, Bob. Question for Shai. Actually, congratulations. Uh, super interesting. Um, so uh, there are a lot of other companies talking about travel itineraries, travel planning using AI. It's one of the most exciting use cases. Um, you talked a little, little bit about defensibility, but maybe you could talk a bit more about how you see long-term defensibility and differentiation in the space. Great. Thank you, Bob. Jay, how about you? Can you tell us a little bit how you've generated the 7 million itineraries and the 149,000 users? That's pretty impressive. All right, let's grab one from our syndicate member, Ryan. Are you worried about GPT having access to slash owning all the data, similar to Zillow pulling GPT so they don't lose the customer relationship conversion? And you have two minutes to answer those, Shai. Great, thank you so much for the questions. Um, regarding defensibility, again, we'll mention that because we were first to market, we've been able to accumulate such a tremendous amount of data from the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, actually uh, determining what users are clicking on and then feeding that back to uh, ChatGPT and saying, this is a good itinerary, this is a bad itinerary. And so we've used that to fine tune our model and we're seeing a higher conversion rate. Um, again, because we were so early, all of these companies were interested, intrigued, maybe even a little bit wary of open AI. And so they've invited us in, whereas it would have been otherwise impossible to get meetings with Kayak, for example. Um, and then aside from that, the main point of de defensibility is our partnership with Flyer Labs. So Flyer Labs has raised over $500 million uh, from Teal Capital. Um, 
and many other like prestigious firms. And they, again, already have their foot in the door and are optimizing the revenue for 50 plus major airlines. So they're going to be our foot in the door with these airlines, which we would otherwise not have access to. Uh, if a new company starts as a, as a ChatGPT wrapper starting tomorrow, they would never have those partnerships um, uh, that we already secured. In terms of how do we gain those um, uh, first users, if I had the, the formula to go viral, I would obviously be selling that, but I don't. Um, it was just a matter of good timing. We were first to market. Uh, we were working really hard on getting um, included on all of those threads of new ChatGPT um, uh, tools and uh, interviews with uh, like large publications. And if at all I'm worried about uh, open AI, um, taking the data. So we're actually uh, LLM agnostic. So we could very easily switch over to uh, a different LLM if the performance was better or if we were ever uh, threatened by um, any of those changes. So as of yesterday, we saw that Google Bard released something that's like along the lines of travel planning. We're going to be testing that and seeing if it's going to provide a better user experience. And if so, we would have no problem switching over.